Hi everyone, today a super quick tutorial on how to join two pipes and especially join two pipes that don't have the same diameter which is really annoying but with this technique it's a lot easier that being said it's just not as good than connecting um, all vertices manually because you can see this is actually not connected it's just kind of uh, projected onto the surface and then there is a, a bevel applied so the seam is not perfect but for most assets uh, I don't know if you do like a faucet for example which is pretty small it should be just fine to have this and you're gonna gain a lot of time so I'll show you how I do that um, I'll start with a plane I'm gonna merge everything at the center so I have one vertex don't extrude it on the z-axis uh, once and twice and then I'm gonna extrude the middle vertices uh, on the y I will separate this one so now I have um, two mesh I'll convert both mesh to curves I'll take this one and bevel it and increase the resolution a bit I'll shade smooth as well and same for this one but I want it to be a bit smaller so yeah something like that increase the resolution shade smooth and if I toggle my wireframe you can see joining both of them would be an absolute nightmare because the edges aren't aligned and you know you could do a boolean operation and just manually fix everything but uh, it's gonna be really hard to make it look good and it's gonna take you an hour just for a transition between two pipes so uh, we're not gonna do that uh, I'll um, um, convert them to mesh boss I'll get rid of this uh, edge loop here dissolve the edge and now um, I will take this pipe I'll move the vertices over there and we're gonna use a shrink wrap modifier with this one as a target and well let's make a vertex group first so I will assign those vertices to this vertex group and put it in the modifier so now only these vertices are projected to this pipe I'll switch to uh, project mode and since we are currently on the y-axis uh, negative going in the negative y direction I'll go here turn on negative and I guess I can turn on positive turn off positive but doesn't really matter so now we have this result and to make the bevel I'm gonna need actually to extrude this a little bit just like that and I will add this to my group so it's um, shrink wrapped as well so now I get this result um, you can see the ratio kind of change here it's, uh, it's kind of wider here than here so to fix this I'll just scale it on the Z and just eyeball it uh, again that's not a precise technique it just does the job 90% of the time um, apply the shrink wrap select this edge and bevel I also delete the, these vertices on the outside and now uh, I'll add a subdivision just helps smooth it out and yeah that's my result uh, as you can see very quick and if I add, um, let's say a metallic, this is like really useful for faucets. So I'll just make this metallic or here we go. And you can see, you know, from a distance, it looks perfectly fine. So, you know, don't waste your time and do it this way. Uh, next time you have to do this kind of stuff. Thank you.